Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so here's the scoop. So my daughter is having surgery, getting her wisdom teeth taken out. And the lovely bride wants to take care of her little girl. Problem is, is that we turned her old room into an office. So now the spare room is where she's going to have to stay over. But we don't have a bed anymore. So what do you do when you need a bed really, really quick? You look for the scrap wood. So that's what we're going to do today. I have been asked by the lovely bride to make a bed for our dear princess. And I don't have time to run out and buy wood and go through all that stuff. So I'm going to dig around the shop. I'm going to see what kind of wood I can pull together here and make a bed so that our princess has a place to sleep. Stick around. So let's start by going through the scrap wood pile. What better place to get your scrap wood is to break down a bunch of old pallets and shipping containers. So that's what I've got here. This is just some uh, scrap wood that I got from a shipping crate. So a bunch of 2x6s and 1x4s. And as you can tell, it's, it's in pretty bad shape. So I'm going to use my six inch sander here with some pretty aggressive sandpaper. I think it's 60 grit on here. And I'm going to try to sand down all the rough spots. Try to clean this wood up as best I can. Um, I did take some time to try to find the straightest pieces that I had in the scrap pile. Um, which definitely took a while. <laughs> but some of the edges were not great. As you can tell, they, um, they had a lot of like sap wood and just busted up corners and things like that. So I was just sanding it down, just trying to clean it up the best I can. Sometimes got to get a little forceful with it, press down a little harder and get down in there. But this uh, six inch sander hooked up to uh, shop back is a game changer as far as dust collection goes. Uh, I don't think I can ever sand with an orbital sander again without having some sort of dust collection up to it. So I think I spent more time sanding all this wood to try to clean it up than I did actually putting the bed frame together. So here's that 2x6 that I was trying to clean up a little bit, and you can see the edges are not straight, um, nice and flat or anything like that, but I think it's going to work good for us for this frame that we're putting together. It's just for our spare bedroom. Not anything fancy. This is not quality furniture that we're making. Um, this is just throwing together a bed frame. So these are the little um, mattress slat support rails that I'm going to put on. And basically I just took uh, another one of those 2x6s and ripped down some inch and a half strips. And all I'm looking for are two flat sides. Um, one that I can screw into the side of the 2x6 and then one that I can screw a mattress support slat on on the top. But again, using that aggressive sandpaper, try to clean it up the best we can. Not the fun part of the working. I gotta say, sanding is not one of my favorite things. Not really a fan. So I think I cut a whole bunch of strips here, probably more than what I actually needed. Um, I figured since I had the, the wood there and I was cutting it down, whatever I didn't use would just go into the burn pile, which is probably where all this wood was going to end up anyway. Mm -hmm. 
And again, not looking for perfection, just try to clean it up a little bit, get rid of all the, the wood splinters and all the rough spots. There's some holes in, the, in those pieces. And then of course that weird sap wood live edge kind of thing. Get this building. Whoops, blew that in right out. <laughs> That's all right, we're gonna cut it off when I gotta use it. So here we are, we moved everything out to the driveway. Um, needed a, a larger space that I could put this frame together, plus it was a really nice day. So take advantage. You don't get too many of these nice days in you know, February, March time. So. so I just brought everything out to the driveway. Doing a simple little butt joint and make sure to pre-drill all the screw holes. I'm using like a two and a half inch deck screw. And um, this is shipping container wood, so who knows how long this stuff has been sitting outside. Um, so make sure to pre-drill. You don't want to split all that wood and blow the sides out. You know, since we spent all that time sanding, Here I'm just trying to find a nicer edge. The nicest edge of the horrible edges. <laughs> or sides. Just trying to find a nice looking side. So we're going to take some measurements, basically just uh, measuring for a 2x4 that I'm going to run down the middle for support, and then let's go ahead and check it for square, make sure we're okay, and there's the 2x4 I put down the middle, and that's going to act as a support for the mattress slats, so we're going to screw slats on top of that so that our mattress goes on top of that. So, with these support slat pieces, I guess, rails we could call them, along the uh, perimeter. And they should be the same height as that 2x4, so we get a nice flat surface. I want that mattress to sit about an inch, inch and a half below the edge of that 2x6. So I'm just using my combination square I took a measurement of where that 2x4 was sitting and I'm just going to make sure that I put those support rails the same distance down from the top. And again, make sure to pre-drill. Did I 
mentioned that concrete's really hard on your knees? Probably should have had my knee pads on. Like I said, th this whole build of this bed took very, very little time. It's not a difficult thing at all. So off camera what I did was I attached some 2x4s together and then cut a nice little bevel on to create these feet or legs for the bed frame. So here I have those legs attached and those just go right up underneath. And um, So like I said, nothing fancy, just uh, some feet to get the frame up off the ground. So that's our bed frame. Now all we have to do is just attach the mattress support slats for the mattress slat. So what I did here was I laid out a bunch and put a screw down the middle into that 2x4 and now I'm going around the perimeter doing a little pre-drill and then I'll just zap a couple uh, inch and a quarter screws in there all the way around. Just keep everything in place. pretty much about it that's our bed quick little scrap wood bed frame um, thanks for sticking around thanks for watching and uh, keep your eyes out for the next one bye